I'm Dan Gukin, author of these word books, and it's Mail Merge Week. Mail Merge in Microsoft Word is about more than creating form letters. You can also merge envelopes, labels, email messages, and more. Still, at the core, Mail Merge is about a form letter. That's a document you write once, but can generate unique copies. Each copy contains consistent text, but also items such as a name, address, and other details that change from document to document. When done correctly, a mail merge document lets you rapidly create these customized documents without the effort and toil of writing and saving each one. In Word, performing a mail merge is one of the more confusing things you can do. That's because Word has its own way of thinking, and until you accept its authority, you'll be frustrated and unhappy. The process works like this. First, create the main document. This document contains the standard text common to all other documents. Second, you create or use a recipient list. This list is a database of individual items, the fields, that will make up the parts of each document that are unique. This step can be the most time consuming. Third, you insert the fields from the recipient list into the main document. This step is the most fun. Fourth, you preview the documents. You check the formatting, the punctuation, and how all the fields fit into everything else. Fifth, you merge. You create the individual documents that you can then print or email or whatever. Over the next few days, I'll be reviewing each of these steps in the mail merge process. And if you're impatient, please check out my word books, which have full mail merge details right there on the pages. Mm -hmm.